And still on climate change, the Senate had special sitting this morning in regards to the same which is currently ongoing. Let's first of all listen in. While we look at the, the benefits of this, uh, this uh, framework, we must not have a tunnel vision because at the same time, the sale of carbon credit is, is affecting the communities who are being chased uh, through conflict and through displacement and uh, encroachment of this concern. Very well, Senator Amanda Go Jackson. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I first stand to support the amendment of this uh, bill on uh, climate change and um, the issues of carbon credit. As a speaker, I just want to say one thing, that uh, the carbon credit trading is a new platform that will be a revenue earner for this country. And Mr. Speaker, we all know that we have two levels of government. We must ensure that counties where forests grow will also benefit from the carbon trading. Number two, Mr. Speaker, I would wish that the drafters of the law and also during regulation development, Mr. Speaker, that those who are already trading on carbon credit in this country. And Mr. Speaker, it is surprising that Kenya is almost number two in Africa in terms of carbon credit trading while we don't have a regulatory framework. Therefore, those who are already trading on carbon credit, Mr. Speaker, they should be made to make declarations of what they have been trading on. Okay. Thank you, Senator Kuiti Andrew. At long last, uh, first of all, I think uh, what is being discussed is important, but the manner in which it's being discussed is not proper. For the main reason that if we enact a law that we are doing, we don't follow the procedure laid in the Constitution, and we're enacting this very important law, what outcome do we expect? And I think that if something is worth doing, it's worth doing well. And the end does not just try the means. We have been told that we have got a conference, therefore we must rush this bill, we must do whatever. The end does not just try the means. And I would like to plead that we step back and do this bill properly, and especially on public participation. We give the people of Kenya the chance to contribute. They cannot be given eight hours to do public participation on, a, on an issue that is as important as this. I would also like to see the role of the Senate. That is the end of the list that uh, I was given by the majority leader. So, majority leader. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I want to conclude by appreciating all colleagues that have taken time to uh, comment on this very important matter and those that we have equally lent various criticisms, areas of improvement. I hope uh, our colleagues will take time uh, those that sit in the committee to further enhance it, to make better. Of course, the most prominent has been the place and standing of our counties. Despite the assured percentage, I think it needs to be more definitive. Like I listened to a few of our colleagues raise and say, uh, I wish the role and the place of, Senate, uh, of uh, our county governments was more uh, properly defined in the, the bill. Of course, we have an opportunity to always enrich uh, the work that we, we do. Nothing stops us, even as soon as tomorrow, uh, once uh, the bill has been assented to, uh, Mr. Speaker, if we conclude on it uh, uh, as expected to as the Houses of Parliament, to begin in securing that particular place that many of us are saying that we need to see our counties, especially the mother counties that are, uh, these resources are domiciled in, uh, benefit more. And I think that's a place we can take a lead. What I know from experience, Mr. Speaker, just as a last comment, is that when any bill comes from the Assembly, it's very difficult to have a prominent role for our, county, for our counties. The only place I see counties given prominence is when bills uh, commence in the Senate. And therefore, the challenge is on us, if we want to enrich this conversation the way many of you are saying, is to immediately soon after, once we have set the... Uh, I think the overarching theme that we are being asked is to set the regulatory framework so that people stop taking advantage of our people. But once that is set, the second level of the fight is... How do we now ensure that our county specifically that hosts these uh, resources get to benefit? And that's a conversation that uh, I want to urge our colleague senators to begin uh, that, uh, that particular conversation and enhance it. At that particular point, we'll have an opportunity to dictate the conversation because at that time, 
the bill will have begun here in the Senate. With those very many remarks, Mr. Speaker, I beg to reply. Thank you. Thank you, Majority Linda. Still have 10. And that is a special Senate Committee on the Climate Change Bill. The carbon credit is what ca exactly they are discussing now and the framework and how counties are bound to benefit from the same. Come Chair Menza, my colleague, is on standby, remembering this coming just days towards the Climate Change Summit, which will be held right here in Nairobi from the 4th to the 6th of September.